Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. It's been quite some time since I've made tutorials, mostly focusing on devlogs, and I do miss the peace and relaxing process a bit of just sharing some game creation knowledge. So in this video, I'll be showing you an easy, cool way to create this beautiful looking 2D reflection effect, which can obviously be used for water or mirrors or even ice. Just before we jump into that, here's a big shout out to Jason Wyman, the sponsor of this video, who is also the top-notch instructor of the massive Unity Mastery course. He'll take you from complete beginner through the fundamentals of Unity and C Sharp, and alongside other students and even one-on-one -on -one sessions with Jason himself, you'll master Unity and programming bit by bit, and eventually be able to bring your crazy unique ideas to life. The link to that is in the description. So I discovered this reflection effect through this short but epic post by Damien. Simply head over to that page and click on the download package link. This will download the Unity package. You can then head over to your Unity project and import a custom package. Find the right one and double click on it. Inside the scene, I'll create a 3D object, quad and I'll add to it the water 2D script. This quad basically acts as our water or reflective surface. The speed on the X and Y here controls how fast the ripple effect on the reflection will play out. For now though, I'll go to the shaders folder of my Unity package and drag and drop this water 2D surface on the quad. Super, let's get this castle sprite reflecting in the water. So I'll make sure to scale up my quad a bit and give my castle an order and layer which is higher than zero. Then I'll add to it the water reflexible script. Now I simply need to drag and drop whatever sprite I want to act as the reflection. So in my case I want that same castle sprite to be reflected in the water and I'll set the reflection's Z rotation to 180 degrees so it's flipped and looks like a proper reflection. I'll hit play and see how that looks. So chances are high you'll also need to play around with the local position, adding some offsets to the reflection. And then you can select the quad that acts like water and increase the shader's magnitude just a tad to break up that reflection and give it extra movement. Of course, if you're creating a reflective mirror, for example, then you'll probably want to set magnitude equal to zero so that the reflection doesn't move all over the place. And the reflection will update itself as you play, which is really neat. So there we go, just a quick video sharing and spreading the word about this great little effect. Remember, if the reflection doesn't look right initially, tweak the local position or rotation and then you can increase or decrease the shader's magnitude and or the water's speed. And say you want your character to have a different reflection than what he actually looks like. Well remember, it's simply about changing the sprite in the water reflectable script. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Many moons ago I made another video on 2D water. That one is more focused on creating cool water physics with vectors and making hand-drawn water animation, so consider checking that out. Now, my previous video got a pretty negative backlash. I wrote a comment on that video uh, addressing the issue yesterday. I of course want peace and positivity first and foremost, so let's keep it that way so that I can have mental clarity and create my best work possible to share with you all. Anyway, stay tuned for an exciting reveal in the next video coming up soon. And yeah, thank you to my patrons for supporting me financially each and every month. You're awesome. Cheers, everyone.